Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I wanted to talk about 1080D image sharpness. Now that's what everybody wants to know is how sharp is this camera? And especially in comparison to like the 70D. So I've been using it quite a lot. And I, I fact, it's my main camera that I use. I don't see no reason I need a full frame camera simply because I don't print anything larger than 24 inches. So there really is no need for me to, you know, need a full frame. That said, uh, I got some image uh, samples here. One of the images is actually the Kuala Lumpur Towers. I took uh, about a month ago, month and a half, when I was in uh, Malaysia. Now, I actually took that with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter art lens. Now, everybody knows that's like one of the sharpest lenses you can get. However, it's not a lens that everybody can afford going in between seven eight hundred dollars the other two photos i have here are two headshot photos i just recently took this past a week and those are shot with the the canon 50 millimeter stm lens which is a 125 dollar lens so if you can afford the canon 80d but can't afford the 50 millimeter stm lens your priorities might be a little off <laughs> so anyway i got these three images i thought we'd zoom in at one to one and two to one so you can do actual real pixel peeping and get an idea of how sharp and what to expect uh from this uh lens or actually lens from the camera itself okay now i'm gonna give everybody the short version here at front and if you want to look at the photos we will the short version is compared to the 70D at one to one, I can't tell the difference in these two cameras. Now, while technically the 80D does have more megapixels, therefore it should be larger with crop down. At one to one, there really is much difference here. Uh, it might be one perceived megapixel more, but the human eye really can't tell that. Even with using the between the 50 millimeter STM and 1835 Art, myself zoomed in one to one i can't tell the difference between those two lenses so that said anybody wants a really good sharp lens 50 millimeter stm is a great option to get okay so let's get over here and actually look at the photos yourself first we'll take a look at the Kuala Lumpur towers okay now these photos here uh i haven't did any uh, noise dust or image sharpening by default, Lightroom does pull it, uh, pull them in at uh, uh, what do you call it? You know that default to twenty five on the sharpness, just enough to uh, slightly correct the uh, anti aliasing filter. Now the anti aliasing filter is one of the downfalls to the eighty D, but it does prevent a lot of moray and stuff that would, a lot of more people would probably bother more average people. So me, I'd personally like Canon to get rid of it. Now, the one reason I'm going to do these tests is because uh, and show everybody is because a lot of the photos that you see on the internet are of the with the new kit lens. But to test the camera out with that lens, it doesn't give you a good control, so you don't have a true idea of how good the camera is. So people can say, "Oh, well, here it is with the new lens; it looks uh, soft." Well, that can be an issue of the lens, so we need lenses to be more consistent in our test. So when it consists, you know, same lenses used over and over. Since these uh, two are very popular, it's the lenses uh, I thought it'd be the best to show the photos with. That said, okay, here we go. First, let's go one to one. Now, my uh, focus point was here at this little uh, crossway between the two towers here, uh, the uh, Patronus towers, and you can see at one to one, it's sharp. It's dead sharp. And at two to one, you know, we're at the pixel level. You can start seeing the little pixel blocks that look like Minecraft. It, you know, you really can't get much sharper. All right. Let me just go back here to one to one again. Just for argument's sake, uh, for example, if I threw my preset in, which is my basic sharpening and noise reduction, you know, for fine, you know, had uh, good quality lenses. And let's we'll get the loaded up. You know, much sharper now, obviously, because uh, I find need to uh, tune my sharpening. And here at one to one, it's it's tack sharp. So yeah, that I did throw in some sharpening there, but you know that's the slot like the sharpening anybody else would use in Lightroom. So all right, 
next photo here. Here's one of my Rochelle, one of my new models and stuff. Again, no basic sharpening. Let's zoom in. At, uh, whoa, too, too close. One to one here. And I'm actually focusing here on the eye, but to be quite honest, it looks like my 50mm STM may did a slight back focus here. I haven't adjusted the micro uh, focus adjustments in the camera just yet. But uh, looking at it, one to one, we can see hair, plenty of detail, plenty of detail in the eyes, plenty of detail in the skin. Uh, you know, we're you really can't get some better. Now, I'm you look at this on a 32 inch display. So I'm used to seeing these photos that, uh, you know, filling the screen probably larger than most people print. So, yeah, at one to one here, you know, you can easily print this out 24 by 36 inches and the image, the photo be exceptionally sharp. Okay, so I'm just going to throw in my little preset that I would use on all my photos. It's a good starter anyway. Probably not be a slight bump, more or less in the details. Yeah, and it is dead tack sharp. You know, you, it's exceptionally sharp. You really can't get much better. Okay. Now let's go to the last image of Rose here. And, of course, you can see on her face, you know, all the detail and stuff. At one to one here. Let's even zoom in at two to one. You know, you can just look at the uh, screen over here on your left. That's what we're zoomed in at. And you see how much detail it still resolves with that $125 lens so in my honest opinion is it sharp enough it's sharp enough for uh, work uh, so but uh, my honest opinion is if you're taking uh, printing photos smaller than 24 or 36 inches or even up to that size the ADD is more than sharp enough even with the 50 mil STM lens to resolve that much detail. There is no issues whatsoever. If you need anything better, you might or consider the 5DSR or actually go up to medium format, which is why I don't have a full frame camera because I don't print anything that large. Most everything that I ever give to people printed is at best maybe 17 inches on the longest head. So never do I need it any, anything better. So it, if you're printing or taking photos, will this camera work for you? It depends on how large you print. Like I said, there's an exceptional large amount of detail in here. Let me just throw in my preset just for shits and giggles. And, and like I said, it, it's more sharp enough. Now, compared to the 70D to the 80D, I really can't tell. Like I said, there's my sharpening noise reduction preset that I use and bam it's just ridiculously sharp even one to one or two to one you know folks we can't get much sharper than this without going to a much larger camera now if you're having troubles with the ADD not being sharp check your lens you well, for example I have the Canon 85 mm uh, USM lens f1.8 super fast focusing lens exceptionally good quality only about 350 dollars that lens even when i bought it like five years ago six years ago it doesn't hold up as well on the ADD. it only gives me about half the megapixels that my camera's after actually able to resolve although it still holds up quite well not like the 6d and the 5d mark uh, 3 but it doesn't hold up very well in the 5 dsr either so, if you're having trouble with your know, lenses not being as sharp on the ADD, consider new lenses. There are a lot of new lenses coming out. I'd like to really like to test out the Canon 50, 50 to 100, uh, not Canon, excuse me, the Sigma 50 to 100 uh, art lens that's coming out. Will I get that lens? I'm still not sure because my 50mm STM is the one I use the most and it's more than sharp enough for my work. And also, Tamron has the 85 millimeter with vibration control, which is their version of image stabilization. Really interested in that lens because I'd rather have a lens that I can use on both full frame and APS-C had I decided to get like the 5DSR. You know, 
So, you know, it really depends. Like I said, the, to me, the ADD is more than sharp enough. You've got all the pro features I need. So, is the camera right for you? Uh, it really depends on you. So, <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd share these photos, give you an idea how sharp it is, because I know a lot of those photos on the internet are with uh, the 18 to 135 USM lens, the micro USM lens. Since we've not tested that lens on other cameras, it's hard to say if the Canon 80D sharpness or lack of is the fact that they're testing it with that lens instead of with a lens like the 50 mil STM here or the 18 35 part that everybody's used to using. But anyway, that's it for this uh, video, everyone. I thought I'd share this, do a little vlog about it. And if you like this video, and how about giving me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe is free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.